Hi, I'm Rahul and in this video we will learn how to import data or files from local storages using a package. Here I'm going to use two packages, one is reader and another is data.table to import the data. And this is the part two video and in part one video I have shown how to import data using base or functions such from the utils package. And if you want to see that you can go to go and watch that video or part one video here first to import the data you have to first define where the files are stored actually in your local storage what is the directory so first you have to set the directory as your working directory to you to set that use the set wd function inside that to give the path to that directory here i'm storing the to here i have stored the data in data underscore import directory so this is the path and if you press control enter after providing this path inside set underscore working wd function and see the i want to see whether the path has already set or not use the get working directory function get wd and run that now you uh, you can see that here the directory of this data underscore import file has been set and now uh before working with this reader and data.table package you have to first install using the install.packages function uh, and inside that provide the reader and data.table one by one so i have already installed that library so i'm just importing using the library function and inside that reader so this library is uh, mainly created by uh, Hardy Wickham and Jim Hester and Roman Francius. So first I'm going to uh, show you how to read a CSV file that is such a comma separated value where the observations are separated with comma. To read that you have to use the read underscore CSV function from the reader package and this function has certain default defaults such as arguments like column underscore names equal to true skip equal to zero and n max equal to infinity so skip means number of lines to skip before it's reading data that how many observations from the top you want to skip and after that you want to read the rest of the data where n max is maximum number of records to reads so how many maximum number of observations you want to read say you have uh, 1000 observations and you want to read the first uh, 700 observations so here you can define using n underscore max so I'm reading the whole data uh, I have created uh, a iris underscore CSV file with dot CSV extension that means such comma separated value you have to just give this <coughs> file name under read underscore CSV function okay so iris underscore CSV dot CSV with its extension dot CSV and I'm reading the data and storing in a object iris underscore data if you press control enter it will read that data and you can see 150 observations and five variables if you want to see use the head functions and provide the object it will show it has five columns sepal lengths sepal width petal length petal width and species if you see the structure you can see that it is now a table data frame or special table df or table data frame okay so it is now a table as well as such a data frame the table has a property uh, for a good property that display the different types of data like say uh, data types here you can see the first four observations uh, uh, first four columns are double that is numeric and the last one is character so chr here character and it also if you print the data it also print print the data like if i print the iris underscore data it only print the observations that can display by the screen uh, or available as a screen space it won't print everything so it is one of the major advantage of using a table so uh, next reading a tab separated value uh, maybe your file is not comma separated but tab separated so you can use directly the read underscore a tsv function and here i am reading a iris underscore wwh that means without header underscore tsv dot txt file and here i am defining the as it has no header so i'm defining as a column names for them so you can also provide the argument with comma column underscore names and provide a character vector using the column names like sepal and sepal with petal and petal with and species and i'm saving in iris tab without header 
and now it has header actually if we read the data so if you press control enter it will read the data from iris underscore wwh underscore tsv that is without header and also to provide the column name and saved under iris underscore tab underscore wwh if you see the header uh, head function using the head function you can see now it has column name sepal and sepal with petal and petal with and species next we will use the read underscore delim function that is the mother function in reader package and with this function you can read any kind of which data or any kind of exotic data that whether it is separated by forward slash backward slash semicolon anything so actually this read underscore csv and read underscore tsv are the wrapper function that already contains some defaults like read underscore csv already contains that the, it should separate it with comma read underscore tsv separated by tab here you can define whether it is a tab separated comma separated semicolon separated forward slash separated space separated anything else so here rather than directly loading the data from the default directory you can also set the path using the file dot path function so under file dot file dot path function i'm giving the path up to the data set that is iris without header underscore tsb dot text and saving in path if you see the path now it will show up to the the path up to the data set and now I'm reading the data set using the read underscore delim function where I'm giving the path up to the data set with comma delim equal to inside a quotation slash t that means it's tab separated and comma column underscore name is equal to false as it has no column like without header you can see so I'm saving in iris underscore header false and if you see the using the head function now you can see that it has named using x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 like in base r it will say v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 next you can also read the data using read underscore delim but also provide the column names okay so column names i am with a check comma you can also provide the argument column underscore names here i am providing a column name vector so while reading the data that doesn't contain any header you can also while reading the data provide the column names so that after reading the data you can get the valid column names not x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 so i'm saving this in iris underscore width underscore column and if you print the data you can see sepal length sepal width petal length, petal width and species the column names now it just provides the column names so next let's see the first iris data set the using head function it's showing that it contains such a six uh, the, it's showing the first six rows that first one contains 5.1 3.5 1.4 .5, 1 and 0 0.2 and set say we want to read the tsv file that has no uh, header but we we have it defined here the column names using columns and with a check character vector the column names sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and species and we are saving this in column now we are reading the tsv file that has no header or column names using read underscore tsv and inside that we are providing the data set iris underscore without he uh, header underscore tsv dot text with comma we are using the skip we are saying that uh, skip the first four rows and then read the data next we are saying that after skipping four rows from rest of the data just take 100 maximum 100 rows the top 100 rows from rest of the data and we are also specifying the column underscore names equal to columns so it will name the columns if you do that so as we skip the first four rows and if you see the, the dimension it will show 100 as we have uh, retrieved such a maximum 100 rows and it's a five columns and if you use the head function now you can see that it is such a quite different because earlier if you go to the top if you see the fifth one as we have skipped the four rows now the fifth row will be the first row for the new data as we as we have skipped the first four rows so it is 5.0 3.6 1.4 0.2 .1 so 5 3.6 1.4 0 0.2 same so it is the first row after skipping the four observations from the top rows and it contains uh, as uh, 100 rows and as five columns 
So you can also uh, specify while reading data using uh, read dot csv uh, read underscore csv or read dot uh, read underscore uh, tsv uh, the column types while reading what would be the column types like uh, while reading the read underscore uh, tsv we want if, if you here if you see the structure of the data okay str using and if you write this data set you can see the species is character let's say we want the species to be uh, say factor so here you can <coughs> define uh, under read underscore csv function first give the file name with comma column underscore type inside that you don't have to use the full name just inside a vector inside a quotation you can give the abbreviated name n for each numeric 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 character so if you want a factor then if you assign the f it will read the factor as a factor the fifth column the four column would be numeric and fifth one will be factor and also we are providing the column names as such columns if you press ctrl enter it will read the file if you see the structure so now you can see the four such columns are numeric first four and the last one as we have defined factor so it is a factor next we can also use uh, for loading data the fret a fret function from the data table this is one of the fastest function available to read a large data set the author are matt table and arun srinivasan so you have to install using the install.packages function and load the library i have already installed that so i am loading the library using read dot uh, library inside that data dot table so it is loaded the defaults are for this uh, fret functions are default header auto string as factor false it has select and drop arguments uh, to play with here the output data frame when you read that data whether it is csv or tsv the resulting data frame would be a data dot table class and data dot frame both so whatever the functions you can apply on a data dot frame you can also apply on a data dot table but resulting data frame would be a data dot table say uh, we want to read the iris underscore csv dot uh, iris underscore csv dot csv here so the csv file of the iris using the f in inside the f rate function you have to give the name of the file in quotation with dot csv extension with comma say we want to read that file but we want to drop the second to fourth column we want to read only first column and last column and save inside x so if you press ctrl enter it will read the file if you print it will show the first column separately in the last species and if you see the structure what it would be it would be a data dot table and data dot frame so here data dot table the classes and data dot frame so you can also similarly here to drop the columns by not st uh, just stating the column names so drop inside a give a character vector that you want to drop so it will same it will print the first and last column or you can also rather than dropping you just select the first and the fifth column rather than dropping you can use the select argument and give the first and fifth it will give the same results again you can specify the under select rather than defining the index of the column you can directly define the name of the column so it will print the results it is one of the fastest uh, uh, function for loading data even if you have gb 1 gb or 2 gb data sets you can load in within few seconds like 10 to 20 seconds uh, i have already published uh, uploaded one video regarding this such a free functions earlier you can see that i will give in give it that in uh, that link in the description below so thanks for watching and these are the uh, functions such for loading data or importing a data using reader and a a function from data table thanks